This is a brief overview on how to kite the Seal Quickness Herald in Harvest Temple Challenge Mode. I won't go over the general strategy, but will just comment over a recorded kill on how to deal with all of the mechanics. First, let's have a quick look at the build and the gear. The build is the general Heal Herald build with Ventari as second legend next to Clint. The gear uses full Givus gear with a staff in a one weapon set and mace sword in the other weapon set. On the weapons I use transference and nullification sigils, mainly because no other second sigil next to transference is really needed, which is why we can use nullification sigil for the occasional wound strip. The weapons cover heal, cleanses, blocks, CC, might blasting and a teleport. On the armor I use monk runes, which is the default for healer builds. Now let's have a look at the recorded kill. For pushing, the mace sword set is a bit better since you have more hits on those weapons. And also obviously don't forget to apply quickness. Swap weapons and be ready to star 5 for big CC. Before you run out with red, you always want to make sure to spam your quickness abilities. Also use your F2 active and then swap to Ventari to apply resistance with Ventari Elite. This helps ignoring the chill for all the DPS players. Always use Sword 5 to get back to the boss quickly, which is the reason why we use Sword. If your squad does not have the DPS to skip the next screen, you would play it similarly to the first one. Before running out, you wanna again make sure to spam all of your quickness abilities and also your F2 active for maximum quickness uptime. Before running out, I switch to Ventari in case of any heal or condi cleanses needed. Whenever there is time, you can use Maze 2 into Maze 3 to blast some additional might. Here I swap 2 Ventari unnecessarily, since it's not really needed. You could have just stayed at, on Glint and used Glint Elite for the super speed. If you need some CC, you can swap to staff here and staff 5 through all of the ads. You just have to make sure to not charge off the platform.
decks in your group, you can use an Atari bubble to block the projectiles from the void caster. But if you have any reflect, then don't use it because the Atari bubble destroys the projectiles, while other sources of reflect reflect it onto the boss, which helps with killing it. You can use Star 5 again to CC the orb, just make sure to not charge into the puddle. Similarly to before, before running out, you can use all of your skills and your F2 active to cap out quickness at time. During the waves you can always swap to staff such that you have an emergency block in case you need it for either the wave or a sniper that's running towards you. Similarly to before, if CC is needed, you can CC with Star 5. Besides that, spam your abilities for quickness and swap to Ventari to gather energy. After the green, make sure your squad is stacked at the melee spot and you can run close to them and stack resistance with Ventari Elite. Using it twice is usually enough to cover the whole field mechanic. Then swap back to Glint, make sure you're on the sword weapon set. And after the red is played, use Sword 5 to teleport back, use Glint Elite for protection, and spam all of your other skills. This is the basic way on how to handle the fear mechanic. Whenever the next green starts, you can swap back to Ventari to gather energy again. As soon as you are close to the squad again, stack up resistance and repeat the steps from before. Although it was not needed this time, but you can use Star 3 to block the projectiles. For Salt Spray you want to use all of your quickness as usual, including your F2 active, and then swap to Ventari for Bubble. Obviously you want to use your Ventari Bubble with the orb. I was apparently sleeping here a bit and missed it for the first part. So one is the part where you will be running the most. The general loop is always to spam all of your quickness, including F2, and then make your way for the mechanics. Nowadays the strategy in red placement could definitely be updated, but uh, to keep with the old muscle memory we just use the usual red placements, which means that you have to run early enough for the red. Final orb phase starts, make sure again to spam all of your quickness and then go into Ventari for the bubble. 
I forgot to activate my F2 in Glint here. Obviously that's bad because your energy is drained much faster, so you wanna definitely use it. Because of this little misplay, you will also see in a bit that uh, the bubble won't last for all of the orb phase, which it usually will. Before baiting the red, you wanna again make sure to spam all of your quickness builds. You can then swap to Ventari for heals or conic lenses if needed. Since we don't have an LXRS immunity equivalent, we wanna stay north of the green and dodge into it through the wave. block the tail slam and various other attacks with star free so make sure to use it if it saves your life. We could have also placed the reds on the other side of the tail slam as usual but since we had a high dps squad it was not necessary. Ideally for the red and green placements you want to make sure to always have your heal skill available because you can stand in red while it's active which is just an additional safety measure. And this is it. Since we killed this basically first try when forming the squad and me not having played Herald Kite for two weeks-ish, there were a few mistakes. But nevertheless, it serves in showing how to deal with all of the mechanics. 